Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today is quick and easy day. So I have a little treat holder. It's a birthday party favor, or it could just be for anything actually. It's just super cute. I have used the hot dog stamp set for this, and so there's a lot of sentiments on it, so you can use whatever you like, but isn't he the most adorable little dog? Oh my gosh, my sister used to have weenie dogs, so so cute but this is the treat holder and i really wanted it because i had these turtle bites i got at the dollar store so that's what i'm using for this but you can also use like some hershey bars um i have one here this is just the regular chocolate one this will fit in there the hershey's with almonds will fit in there um, any kind of candy bar that's, this is like three quarter inches on the bottom. So you can also make that bottom bigger if you have a wider candy bar. But this is what I'm sharing today. Isn't it adorable? Oh my gosh, I just love this. This stamp set is in our spring catalog, mini catalog. So check that out. It's only good till June. So if you love this stamp set, you need to order it because after June... It's going to be gone. This catalog leaves. In fact, May 4th, yesterday, the new annual catalog came out. And if anybody does not have a demonstrator and would like a catalog, you can contact me on my blog at stampingwithamora.com and just ask for a catalog. Put your name, address, and I will send one out to you. So this is what I'm sharing today. All right, let's go ahead and get going, and I'll tell you what you need for it. So this is the hot dog. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's got I love you. That's the long and short of it. Bonjour. I miss you. It's been a, it's been too long. It's just got the hi, how are you? Get well. And then this is the one I used here. Hot dog. It's your birthday. I'm also using our rectangles, stitched rectangles. This is the one I'm using. It is it is the inside part is actually three and about three and three quarters by oh it's two and three quarters or one and three quarters so that's about the size if you just want to cut a rectangle um, I love the stitching of course on this and I already cut one out here because this is all we're using the cut and emboss for and then what else you're gonna need is some real red cardstock this piece for this is seven and a half by five and three quarters. Then you're going to need a piece to mat. This is the Snailed It Snail Mail Designer Series paper. This is also in our spring catalog. So check it out. I hope it's still available because this has been super popular with our Snail Mail bundle. So I'm using the hearts on this one. And then you need a scrap piece of basic white. And I'm also using my white gel pen and some crinkled white ribbon. All right, so super easy scoring on this. So what you're gonna do is you're scoring on the seven and a half inch, whoops, we're scoring this way. On the five and three quarter inch side, you are going to score it at two and a half and three and a quarter. Oops. So that's all you're doing for scoring. This is really, really a quick and easy. That's why I said it'd be a great party favor just to make up a bunch. Whatever candy you want to put in it is up to you. So that is that. I'm going to go ahead and before we finish that off, I'm going to go ahead and stamp because I want to get this all ready to go. I am using my blends to color it. And so we are going to stamp our little dog. You have to fussy cut this. That is the only thing about it. And this is his little ribbon we're putting on there. And then we're going to stamp a little birthday hat. We're going to also go ahead and take that piece that we're going to stamp on here. We're going to stamp two balloons. These are all from the same stamp set, by the way. And then we're going to stamp the sentiment.
So that is all ready. All we have to do is color these. I'm doing some really simple coloring here. I am using for this whole thing light and dark crumb cake. I'm using dark pool party, light Bermuda Bay, and real red light and dark. So we're going to go ahead and color, let's color the balloons first. So I'm just going to color the light first. And then I'm going to show you a little trick with my gel pen, how I make it look more like a little balloon. We're going to use the dark and I am just going to shade one side. Just like that. We're going to just blend that just a hair. Then I'm going to use the pool party here. I got to be careful with this one. This one's starting to run out and the tip is not really great on this. So I have to be a little more careful. So this is the pool party. It's the dark pool party and then we're using the light Bermuda Bay to shade it. And I need my other end on this. All right, and then I'm going to blend it again. Just the sharp edge right here. And now with my gel pen, I'm just going to make a line and a dot and another line and a dot. And that just gives it, make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to, again, I'm going to add a little bow to the bottom of here. Just like that. And then we have that all ready to go. But can you see how cute is that? All right. So for our little dog, we're just going to do light crumb cake. So color him fully with the light crumb cake. In fact, I wanted to tell you all that be watching in my description below this video. You're going to see chapters. I started putting chapters into my videos. So if you don't want to watch the coloring, you can skip to the next section. So that's why I have been coloring these images so that if you want don't want to watch the coloring you can skip through it all right and then I'm just going to do a little bit shading with the dark and when you do shade these um, make sure you go right back over it and then blend because if you let this dry too long, it's not going to blend as nice. I try to just do one section at a time, but for the video, I usually just go ahead and do it because I don't want to take too much time in blending. And I usually, to blend, I just go in circles. And I don't want to over, over put ink down because it will start bleeding. And now we're going to do the dark real red and we're going to do his bow. Just like that. And then we're going to do the hat. And I'm doing the hat just like I did the balloon. I'm just going to do it the light pool party or the dark pool party and the light Bermuda Bay. I'm shading it just a little bit. And then I'm going to do a real red little puff on the top here. All right, so I am going to fussy cut these. And I'm going to speed through that part so you don't have to sit and watch me do all that fussy cutting. Okay, so he's cut out and so is the little hat. So I am going to use some of my liquid glue. We're going to put it at the top of his head here. And I am going to add the hat. And now for our box or 
holder here, we're going to mat it. You can mat, mat both sides if you want to mat both sides. And then I'm taking my one inch hole punch and I'm going to find as close to the center as you can. Make sure these are, are together and lined up because you want to punch them both at the same time. And you're just going to punch about a half there. It's just a little hinge to hold our ribbon. I'm going to tie the ribbon on. Oh, let's put a candy bar in there. Let's just put this in here. Actually, I have another one of the I have another one of the turtles. And I think I'm going to give these to someone. My sister's birthday's coming, so I may just give it to her. And we're going to tie a bow right where that little notch is. Right there, let's clip these. And then I'm going to add my hot dog. You can tell I use scrap on this, but it's not going to show. So we're going to add this onto the front. Here, don't get your ribbon because you want to be able to just untie it. And then we're popping him up with dimensionals. And we're putting him right there in the front. And that's it. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. I love this little dog. He's just so cute. So here you go. There's both of them. Like you saw, you can put a Hershey's bar in it. I think the Hershey's with almonds is going to even fit better. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, you can shop on my blog at stampingwiththemore.com. Have a blessed one, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.